From Milwaukee, first round action from the West and the Midwest 2010 NCAA Tournament. Ian Eagle along with Jim Spinarco, four games down. Action began in the West region and right out of the gate. Interesting matchup with Xavier taking on Minnesota. Xavier gets the win 65-54 to and it turned out to be the Jordan Crawford show for the Musketeers. And especially in that second half when they needed him most to kind of put them on their his back, he really turned it up a notch. We saw varieties of shots, drives through the lanes, the pull-up jump shot. We saw a whole bunch from Crawford. Up next for Xavier, they'll match up against Pittsburgh. Rough and tumble the Panthers out of the Big East. They take care of business against Oakland. Final score of 89-66. to 66. A balanced effort from Pittsburgh, and that's really their calling card. There's no one standout, but they can beat you in a variety of ways. And this is exactly what Jamie Dixon loves to see in his stat sheet, the points in the paints. They were really powerful down deep. The rebounding was fine, and then that forcing of the turnovers. So a typical game for Pitt, the way they wear people out with their strength and their size, especially on the perimeter. And two teams that know each other quite well. They played last year in the NCAA tournament. It was Pittsburgh knocking off Xavier to advance, ultimately, the Panthers. Panthers fell in the Elite Eight to Villanova. Okay, let's talk about the Midwest now. And the game of the day here in Milwaukee was Georgia Tech and Oklahoma State, 64 to 59. The Yellow Jackets advance on to the second round where they will face Ohio State. Georgia Tech, they've got impressive players on the front line, guys that are going to play on beyond college basketball, Favors and LaWall, and they did a lot of the dirty work today. They sure did, and this was just a flat-out fun game to watch. It was going up and down for a while, but the – Georgia Tech team has the big guys, as you just touched on, and if they get the ball and established like they did in the first five minutes of the game, they're in pretty good shape. They get their rhythm, but overall, shooting the free throws, they were terrific down the stretch in particular. You never quite know what you're going to get from Georgia Tech. They've been up and down throughout the season. Well, they made shots when they, they had did. to, and they executed yep. down the stretch in that game to move on to the second round. Up next... Ohio State, the number two seed in the Midwest, a 68-51 victory over UC Santa Barbara. John Diebler, unconscious from long range. He finished with 23 to lead the Buckeyes. Except for when you're guarding him, it's a whole lot of fun to watch him shoot the basketball, and I thought his spot-up jump shot was dead on, but you have to give his teammates credit because they find them, they know their roles on that team for Ohio State, and he's a spot-up shooter, but they know that, and they find them in rhythm. Ohio State will be matched up with Georgia Tech. Pittsburgh will take on Xavier in second round action here from Milwaukee on Sunday. That's the story from the Bradley Center. The first round of the 2010 NCAA Tournament is complete.